All right, Dave, thank you. Coming in at number two tonight, hundreds of hours souping up a sweet ride wasted for a man in Brownstown Township. But what happened after that car was stolen has its owner now working to clear his name. Action News reporter Brian Abel live in Brownstown Township. And that red Jeep is still missing, Brian? Yeah, at last check, Glenda, stolen right here from this parking lot where other vehicles were vandalized as well, including this red Ranger right here where the lock was attempted to be picked. And whoever did it, what they would go on to allegedly do next was even worse. I, my heart dropped. Christopher Barnett couldn't believe his eyes when he saw this post, a picture of his beloved 98 Jeep stolen just hours earlier with a caption, anyone know this truck? Reward for info on whose it is. I don't want it coming back to me thinking that I did it when I was heading to work and they stole it out of the parking lot where I live. Burnett says after the Jeep was stolen from his apartment complex near Telegraph and West Road in Brownstown Township. You can see they must have jammed it with a with a screwdriver or some sort of pick. Someone used it to ram into an auto parts store in Melvindale in an apparent smash and grab. I put approximately the last seven months I've been working on it. He's now shared the story of the heist across social media, hoping someone will see it so he can get his labor of love back. I have over $6,000 tied into this Jeep. Other people wouldn't think, you know, $6,000, oh, I got a $20,000 car, but I'm a single parent and that's my hobby and that's my life. Now, Barnett did file a police report. He also did get a tip that the Jeep was seen in the Allen Park area, but despite he and a handful of friends going out to look for it, no such luck. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.